also world connection, uh, the internet, in other words, is, is what he's uh, saying. Right. So back to access to information. Back to access to information, exactly. Terry Lake said, the capacity to completely forgive those who hurt me. Wow. Oh, That's deep. That is deep. That's deep. I like that, Terry. She's such a sweet person. So I'm not surprised about that, about her at all. So, and I totally believe her. Uh, Kmart says, the ability to rebound from hurt and disappointment. Mm. Wow. That's another that's another good one. Nice. Nice. We got some 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 deep introspection at the end there. You know, people some deep pools. Okay, so we're bringing inside the studio. And we always start off with Mr. Legend, Mr. Myth, Mr. Pip. I'm going to choose uh diversity. And our life, in my lifetime, it has definitely got better. I mean, there was an active pull when I was a kid to to change things, and now I'm starting to see the, that come to fruition. Yeah, like kids born today, it's not that big a deal to see different races and right. different types of people on TV and in the news and and as newscasters. I mean, when I was growing up, mm-hmm. still it was still like there's somebody black on TV, and we all ran from the other room to see him. Right, mm-hmm. right. You know, and even then, like I didn't like. The representation of, like, Asians, like, mm-hmm. I, I would think growing, where I was growing up that Asians hardly lived in the United States. Right. Because mm-hmm. you didn't mm-hmm. see them anywhere on anything, but now that's kind of different. Like, if you don't have them, it's kind of like it's weird now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's what the Oscar is so white again this year. It's kind of like, really? What world y'all live in? What America y'all live in? Because it looks nothing like what I see. Right. Right. Very definitely. Did John? Whatever. What about you? I'm going to say things that I have seen change for the better um would be fashion i think just more styles have become embraced more urban styles we went from like the baggy looks to now being like very fitted and clean look and now it's just even transforming back into more classic looks with like bell bottoms and baggy arm. i just love the how fashion has changed over the years for the better okay mine is safety Safety. I feel like the world has gotten much safer overall, you know, and I'm not just talking about like crime. I mean, I I mean, as far as like products and in every way, every way. I remember as a, as a child, just navigating the world, putting my little hand places and getting them smashed a lot, Mm. a lot of like, for instance, on riding on the bus and putting my little hands in between the seat and the, and oh, the wall sure, of sure. the bus or something like that. Whereas now I, I, I notice I'll sit on a bus and just like this huge space between the bus and the wall. I mean, the seat and the wall where I can, my hands are really big. I have very big hands yeah. and the, I couldn't smash my hands, let alone a child smashing their hands. It would be like impossible. I just noticed stuff, you know, with the curbs for, for handicapped people, um, which I guess is more accessibility than safety, but, you know, it's in the same neighborhood. Um, <laughs> just, uh, just. Uh, Sadie May uh, said, uh, didn't getting your hand smashed teach you something? <laughs> <laughs> probably. It probably should have taught me to keep my hands to, to in where I can see them in front of me. But I have this, I call it wandering hand syndrome. <laughs> and this got me into some precarious <laughs> situations. It just doesn't sound good. Yeah. Wandering hand syndrome. Yeah. Wandering hand syndrome. Isn't that what Weinstein has? I, 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 well, I luckily, well, I've, I've, I have, well, okay, so I'm gonna tell you a couple of stories. So the most, I've, I've really made an effort to keep keep this thing in check. And what it is is that I just get into thought, whatever I'm thinking about, or maybe listening to, while I'm traveling about whatever, and I just don't pay attention to what my hands are doing. My hands will just start to kind of like travel or move along, you know, it, it, it like, you know, if I'm on, on a bus, it, it, you know, it'll go along the rail, you know, mm-hmm. and then like, it'll go like, you know, that, that little area up by the, up near the bus driver, all the way to the right on the side of the door is mm-hmm. like this, where people, people with their bags. Right. So one day I'm standing up there and I happened to, uh, a guy had his, his bag up there, you know, like his little carry bag or whatever, mm-hmm. like messenger type bag or something. And, uh, I, I, my wandering hand syndrome kicked in and I was messing with the strap on his bag and he got really uh, rightfully so, you know, (laughs) 
and I, I immediately apologized. I was like, I'm so sorry. I, I'm so <laughs> sorry. I, I was like, I wasn't, you know, I was like, I wasn't trying to steal your bag or anything. Right. I, I, you know, but I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been touching your bag. I, I apologize. And but that wasn't good enough for him. Oh uh, no. No, he wanted me to like move away and go. I was like, look, sir, bruh, look, I, I admitted I was wrong. I said I apologize. I'm not going to steal your bag, but I'm not going to move either. Right. You know, so you can move your bag if you like. If you don't trust me or think I'm trying to steal it, or you can just take my word that I won't be, you know, touching it anymore, but I'm not leaving. I'm not moving. Sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> but, you, know, you got OCD. So there was that. And then there was this one time in the movie theater. <laughs> where, <laughs> Come on. Where, no, man, I have, I had my hands down to this, like in between the seats, whatever. And like watching the movies into the movie, I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. And I was just like, I was just, was just kind of moving my hands and my one hand was like, just, I felt something was kind of soft or whatever. And without thinking, I was just like, just kind of brushing up against it. Uh, And I just was continually doing that like the whole evening. And then for some reason at the end of the movie or towards the end of the movie, I was like, what the hell? And then I looked over and I had been feeling on this girl's leg all oh night. God. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and I snatched my hand away, and she was looking. She did not mind. Oh clearly, my god! Like, she was with some guy too on a date. Oh wow! But she like looked at me, and she kind of smiled or whatever. And like, I was, I was like, wow! I was like, wow! That could have been so. I was so lucky. Yes. I was so lucky because that, that is some Harvey Weinstein uh, type. Yes. That was. I was like, that could have went so wrong. So wrong for oh, me. Oh, this feels nice. I'm just going to keep on touching on it. But it's like I don't even You're think even about it. it. Like, right. I'm not even saying that. And But when I finally do, and then I, I'm like, oh. so, yeah, so, yeah, I got, yeah, I got to. But wow. that's the only time that it was, it, it, it bordered on some, crazy you know, stuff. some crazy stuff like it that. Happens. Those was the two worst examples. But, yeah. yeah. I've done way So worse. the world is safer uh, from Dino's hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's, yeah, that's tied, tape those hands to your sides, Dino. You know? But I, yeah, I told my wife I was like uh, I was feeling on that girl's thigh all night long. She was like, "Huh?" What? <laughs> <laughs> and I explained to her what happened. She's like, "She never said anything." Or I was like, "No." And I was, you know, like she never said anything. She's like, you know, she just was just like over there, like smiling. Hey, <laughs> like what? There's some girls that be down for whatever. So yeah. Well, in the chat, we had some people uh, checking in. Sadie May said on her list, mental health awareness has come up Amen. big time. Sure enough. Yes. Yes, indeed. And uh, not only is there more information out there about that, there's less of a stigma. There is. There is. We didn't even openly it? talk about like suicide or things like that. Right. Or even and going to therapists. And, and I noticed a shout out to Hollywood. I noticed how Hollywood is trying to, they make a concerted effort to address the issue within the, uh, the, the, the black male community. There's two yeah. shows. There's two shows right now that I watch that has, you know, black lead black male characters who struggle with depression and things like that and mm-hmm. suicide, whatever. And, and they, create the dialogue and they even talk about how, you know, we're raised to like not talk about things and how, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, I mean, shout out, shout out for that because yeah. that, you know, that's when Pip and I, we've talked about that on this show many times, you know, so that's definitely changed for the yes, better. Yes, definitely for the better. I'd like more mentally well people in the world. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. That would be very welcome. Definitely. Right? So Pip, what we got for uh, our question for next week? Uh, I was thinking, so, uh, Grammys are happening. I was talking last oh, night. Oh, yeah. So, so it's like everybody likes fame, right? Like, but what about fame do you really like? Is it the notoriety, the money, or the authority? Mm. So you get to choose one of these that you get to have. Notoriety, money, or authority. Oh. If you could be famous, which one would you want to have? Hmm. Huh. Dino's not feeling that question. Okay. No, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm trying to think about it. Like, I'm really not that into fame really? <laughs> well i'm just saying the, well these are the they, these are what i've broken down like fame like what do people want out of fame they want notoriety or mm-hmm. people people like know who they are they want the money right or they want the authority you, if you right. only get to pick one of those three things that's, which one is most important to that's you? pretty easy for me notoriety money or authority that's pretty easy mm-hmm. okay 
All right, there you go. Sadie Mae said, or would you rather be famous or powerful? Famous or powerful? Yeah, no. You could be you could be both. Mm. I mean, hello, Queen Elizabeth. Right. True. Yeah, Beyonce. Could, yeah. <laughs> you guys. Beyonce is famous and powerful. She's influential. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's oh, yeah, she's, she's powerful. not powerful. She's not powerful. I mean, you know, <laughs> our president could just kind of say a word and she could be gone tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, she's she's influential. That's powerful. She's not powerful. <laughs> Yeah, Queen of England. That's there's, and she doesn't even like have to run run stuff, but she's got power, right? Some power, yes, true that. Okay, so there we go. That is our question for next week. All right, all right, y'all. Well, that's it. Hey, Sadie May, it's so good to see you back. It's been a long time. I know she said you... she was happy to catch us this week. Me and her been getting good oh. laughs in the chat. Hey. I almost forgot we was doing another show. Me and Shady had had our own chat show going on in here. <laughs> she is hilarious. I didn't realize. I almost forgot how hilarious Sadie Mae was. Girl, you got to come and come back more often. We miss you. For real, though. For real. All right, you guys. So uh, that's it. Until next week. Um, no. Yep, yep, yep. That is it. So uh, for Dijon Monique. Just the girl in my world. For Pip Lily. Yo, yo, yo. See you next week. I'm Dino Riz, and holla at your boy. From all of our crew to listeners like you, thanks again for tuning in to another episode of The Shiznit. And don't forget to tell your friends about the show. Check out our website, theshiznitshow.com, or hit us up on Facebook under The Shiznit. Follow us on Twitter at The Shiznit Show. Write to us at theshiznitshow at gmail.com, or leave us a voicemail and make it sexy at 424-261. 4878. This has been The Shiznit. You're listening to the red.